first game? Felt like a, a first game. I think uh, parts where it was pretty good and parts where it was not good at all for myself. But I thought our our group as a as a team, I thought we got quicker and quicker and more into it as it went on. You know, he's, he's been talking about installing this and installing that. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but at least we'll have tape and we'll be able to look yep. at it and go over it and stuff like that. How did you feel all that, whatever systems and stuff work that you were able to get done, how did you feel about all that? Uh, same kind of thing. Parts where I need to figure out and figure out the timing and and uh, be able, being able to read and know which where you're going on what particular particular plays and stuff, but uh, I thought it, it's, it's going to be a process, and uh, I think I'm so used to being up and trying to defend Blues, and obviously with his system it's a bit different as the the defenseman, but I, it's it's going to be time, and I think it's uh, it's going to only go up. In what way is it different? You say obviously it's different. Ah, well, I think, well, the way we're doing it is it's a lock, so you're kind of hanging back a little bit more, so... I think that's the main thing, and it's just going to be a little bit of time getting used to. Conditioning-wise, just how important is it for you to have games like last night where you can just get back into a game? Yeah, for sure. Rounds? It's uh, it's hard to replicate playing a real game. You're not summer hockey. Obviously, you're not stopping and starting and going like, all out like you would in a game. So it's gonna. I thought uh, it was good to get out there and and feel the game pace and to feel back in the swing of things. So it's uh, it's exciting, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. When you or in a game like that where, you know, there's not a lot of big names on your team. There's no Panarin, there's no Kreider, there's no Mika. Does a guy like you feel like, I have to do more, or I have the opportunity to do more, or I'm going to try to do more? You know, what's your mindset in a game like that when you're looking around and saying, like, okay? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, you are, you're obviously getting more ice time, and, and you want to be able to be more involved in as many ways as you can. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a good op opportunity to to get going and to feel your game and to try and push yourself. What have been your early impressions of Bobby Aladdin and the way he's running things there? I think he's, I think he's awesome. I love his, uh, the energy he brings to the room. I love all of his philosophies and, and so far he's been, he's been really fun to, to be around and, and to learn from. It's, uh, I'm, I'm very excited to, to keep learning and, and uh, putting the things that he says into action. What, what's, what's your outlook for this season personally? Not a rookie anymore. You're not a second-year guy anymore. What do you feel like you have coming this year? I, well, main objective one is to, to get into game shape and to, to make the team first, and then I think uh, I, I'm just trying to improve every, every place I can. I think last year, I, a thing in particular I wanted to work on a lot was, uh, and going into summer was my breakouts. I wanted to be more efficient at getting back for pucks and getting my toes up ice and, and making a first pass to help transition into offense. And I think that that helps a lot and as a D-man, builds your game throughout. You can do that good, you build offense good and getting more shots through. I think I talked about that a lot last year and continue to do that. And I think just coming in with this, this season with a lot of confidence and uh, trying to be the physical and, and presence I, I learned I could be last year. Oh, I, he, he, he's uh, first off, he's a he's a, a great guy, and you look up to him in the locker room. And I think uh, a thing with him is he is always ready to go. You know, he's putting everything that he has every game, every practice, and it's it's easy to follow a guy like that because you you know he's here to work and you know he's here to win. And I think it's just passes through every guy. He's a an, an awesome teammate, and I'm glad we have him.